coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Janelle Norville and this is your Midday News Brief. Minister for Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Cuba, His Excellency Bruno Rodriguez Parrilla, will visit St. Lucia from the 12th to the 13th June 2019. This visit will be an important occasion to reaffirm the historical bilateral relations of Cuba with St. Lucia, exchange on topics of common interest, and ratify the will to continue strengthening the historic bonds of friendship and cooperation. The Cuban Foreign Minister will be greeted on arrival by Minister of Responsibility for External Affairs, Honorable Sarah Flood Bobre, and Ambassador to CARICOM and OECS and Permanent Secretary in the Department of External Affairs, Her Excellency Elma Jean Isaac. The Foreign Minister will then meet with Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Growth, Job Creation, External Affairs and the Public Service, the Honorable Alan Chastney at the Office of the Prime Minister. The Cuban delegation is also integrated by the General Director of Latin America and the Caribbean of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Eugenio Martinez Enriquez, and by Ambassador Alejandro Simancas Marin. In February of this year, St. Lucia marked 40 years of independence, and Cuba was among the first countries to establish diplomatic ties with the newly independent St. Lucia in 1979. Contracts have recently been signed between the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, SSDF, the Implementing Agency of the Caribbean Development Bank, CDB, funded projects through the Basic Needs Trust Fund, BNTF, with a consultant for the respective sub-project, Fables Consulting Limited, Vesique Water Supply Installation in Grosile, costing $371,071 US dollars. The consultants will design and supervise the execution of infrastructural works within the next 18 months. The United States Agency for International Development, USAID, in collaboration with the Department of Health and Wellness, recently hosted a Zika Response Dissemination Workshop. The event granted health professionals the opportunity to assess the work undertaken to reduce the effects of Zika on women and babies. That's all for the Midday News Brief. Thanks for tuning in.